This city, it is a beautiful city, the city of heat and wonder. In this city is Ratatouille, the restaurant that is most revered in this city. They say the word city so many goddamn times. What did we not watch? A good movie. We did not watch Ratatouille. We, however, did watch Ratatouille. And it sucks. Oh ass. my god. It might be the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It's not even like really a movie. It's like a it's like a direct to DVD. It's Portuguese, right? No, I think it's Brazilian. It's Brazilian? Okay. I it was, it, it's a yeah. Brazilian knockoff of Ratatouille. I, I, all the actors for the English version at least are poor kids actors. <laughs> like I don't I, what the fuck? Like I recognize the main villain was Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I recognize all of the voice actors in this from like, you know, various things from my childhood and it was really weird but it looked like early ps1 graphics mm -hmm. like the very first 3d graphics like oh it looks like rap boy genius really really stiff animation Didn't it's just it look... really stiff and jerky the movie starts off and like the first 10 minutes i'm not even like i don't feel like i'm exaggerating it feels like the first 10 minutes at least it's at least it's, 10 it's it's, not more. it's just characters that like, a, a, a lot of... Uh, some of these characters are characters in the movie. Uh, I'll give it that. Most of the characters in this scene don't ever show up again. Yeah. There's just a ton of people <laughs> sitting in a restaurant. It's a rat restaurant. All the characters are rats. And they're just talking about how good the food is. Like, ooh, this is wonderful flying bird shit ta ta I don't like. I, me I mentally blocked every line in this movie, pretty much. <laughs> I, all I remember I is, it, and it was glorious. all I remember is Mike Pollock saying precisely over and over. Oh my and over. god, um, that was his uh, catchphrase. I guess it was just the one word. It was precisely, precisely. but it, it sounded like the same sound bite every. Like they got him to say it once. So the main character is his name is Marcel. Ratatouille. No, it's it's Marcel Toing. Marcel Toing. Toing. Is his Toing. Toing. Like Toing. Yes. Toing. So his his name. Ah, oh, fuck. His, his so he runs the restaurant, right? Is yeah. it his restaurant? Yeah. Ratatouille is the name. Ratatouille. And so, god damn it, this is so fucking stupid. And so, he's in the back, and and he's making food. And then he comes out, and one of the customers isn't happy with the food, and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, lady. I, I, I just served the food. No, that was a waiter who looked exactly like him. Oh, god damn see. <laughs> <laughs> they this used, is, like, the same character model. We just for... saw this movie. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they used the same... I remember this now, though. They used the same character model for one of the, like, NPC rats <laughs> as the main character rat. And and like, they they had a it they it had a different voice actor. So like it, it just, we just really thought, we just thought that I thought that the voice actor changed. I thought that for one of the other rats with glasses, but I guess it was just a different rat that had glasses because it was that first scene where there was a lot of rats. Yeah. It was that just made it worse. It did. That made it so much harder to understand what the fuck was going on later in the movie. It did because there's so many characters that get introduced in that first scene, and, and they it, never come up again. Right, but none of the like the ones that are main characters don't look any different from the ones that aren't main characters. They're all just slightly different colors. Yeah, they're slightly and different gray, colors. Gray is kind of big. Some have glasses. Some have mustaches. Some have. Some have fake mustaches. Yeah, some have hair, some don't. Only the women have hair. Uh, unbeknownst to Marcel and his, his, his... Greg and then the pink rat that's a girl, because pink. Unbeknownst to them... Oh, she's played by the voice actress of Amy, by the way. So mm -hmm. pink hedgehog, pink rat. They're, they're serving four customers who happen to be restaurant spies that's the that's the actual words they used was they were restaurant spies from they were coming from their own restaurant yeah, they own the rival restaurant like they're the they're like the managers of this rival restaurant to ratatouille but they're going to ratatouille and spending their money every day they say it's every day they spend at ratatouille to try to figure out their secrets it's like plankton 
and the Krabby Patty formula. Yeah, but Plankton is except, except bad, like really bad. Plankton doesn't just walk into the Krabby Patty and Krabby. Plankton doesn't just walk into the Krusty Krab and buy a Krabby Patty every day. He no. like tries to steal one or, and like take it back to his restaurant. These guys, they're literally just sitting there and eating all the food and being like, "How does he do it? Wow, <laughs> it's so good." I wish we could do this. And so, they send... Uh, okay, so, it's Thursday night. And Thursday night, they do something special. That's the actual... They don't say what it is at first. But it's revealed that they steal from a human restaurant that looks suspiciously like somebody's kitchen and not a restaurant. They steal a, a juicy, delicious strawberry. And, but, oh no, one of the uh, restaurant spies follows them. She's got the funniest fucking watch oh, information. Oh, shit! Out of all, you just scared the hell out of me. What? Yeah, because the uh, bad guy followed him. Yeah. Yeah, they took the turn on the fan. Yeah, they turn on the fan. And um, they're, they're like, they're like trying, Mike Pollock is hanging there. The fat rat, his name's Greg. Greg. Greg Precisely. Is, Greg is hanging there on the fan. Just like spinning around, and he's saying, "Push the button, you know, the, the light switch to turn the fan off." And she's like, "She's, she's pull? like, pull the lever. No, push the button. P- push the, p- push it. the button. The, Where's bu- the button? The, what? What? Huh? And it's right fucking behind her. You can see it in the screen. And you're just, it's like Dora, but like on crack." You know how, like, Dora asks you a fucking redundant question? Yeah. Well, that's, like, for four year This is... Every joke in this movie just drags. This movie is too stupid for newborns. Like, that's... There's no... There's no fucking limit where they, where they get ready to go on their mission. And they're in the white matrix room. Oh, yeah, room. that, too. They're in a white matrix room. Fucking... This happens three times during the movie, and they go on for way too fucking long, and it's the same scene over and over again. Of them putting on spy gear, and then the pink rat wings the camera, and then Greg pulls out two pieces of cheese and looks tough. <laughs> yeah. And then Marcel does something fucking stupid. Anyways, there's literally a scene where um, there, there's there's a rat. It's the it's the waiter rat. He stands in a doorway and contemplates what the fuck he's he's supposed to be doing in that scene for a solid minute. And then he decides he can't remember and walks away. So, like, they just, they just, uh, they just cut from the plot to show this rat contemplating his, like, that's not, that's not how you make a movie. No, it is. (laughs) Let's cut away to this random shit. So the, the bad guys know their secret. So what they do is they cause a ruckus at the restaurant during the daytime. So the owner puts out traps. When the bad guys go into the the restaurant to cause a ruckus, they go they do a huge dance number before they even get the attention of human the humans. Yeah, they do a dance number, and it that goes on for fucking ever too. It reminds me of the the that '70s show, like the in between moments. And and like the animation in this movie is so god awful that like, you know they couldn't animate. Dancing, so they just have them kind like of swiggling around. And stuff. They're like they're like doing the discount robot, like. Then they did that thing from Doctor Strange with the multiple arms. Yeah, they're like they look like <laughs> they look like plastic robots. Doctor Strange stole from this movie. Doctor Strange stole from I this mean, movie. I mean, Infinity War. Infinity Whatever. War. Infinity War definitely stole yep. from this movie. Just Infinity look at the similarities. War. Here, put a side by side there. They try to steal the food again. But then there's traps, and they avoid all the traps, so that there's no point in them having traps at all anyways. But then, oh fuck, a cat comes out, and it's walking on its hind legs like a fucking abomination. Oh my god, that, that was, cat was horrifying. That was the scariest, I guess, maybe that's from the point of view of a rat? That was the point? <laughs> I don't know. I'm giving to the creators too much credit. Anyways, this fucking monster is, comes barreling after them, and they decide they have to leave the chocolate bar. Okay, first off, can I talk about the chocolate? Mm-hmm. Marcel comes over to this chocolate, and he's, like, trying to lift it, and he's all, like, heave-ho, fucking, you know, can't lift it. And then the cat scares him, and he picks it up, and he fucking runs with it. Like, it's suddenly weightless. And then he starts fucking surfing on it! 
Oh, yeah. He starts fucking surfing, and then he starts climbing with it between his little feet. And finally, the cat starts tugging on the thing, and it's the funniest fucking animation seeing that cat being like, toing, toing, toing. <laughs> toing, right a toing. There it is. Oh, shit, we figured it out. Precisely. Precisely. Um, and you know, <laughs> So they leave without the chocolate. Their, their restaurant starts going under, and then the bad guys are like, we sabotage them. But our restaurant's not any better. We should have thought this through. So they go back out, go back into the white matrix room for the third time. We didn't mention the second time, because why the fuck would we? Marcel goes out and he tries to draw out the cat. He's like, here kitty kitty, and then the cat doesn't show up, and then he's like, go get the food, and they're like, what about the cat? And he's like, I just checked, there's no cat there, and they go, right by, look behind you! And the cat, just in the spawns next in. cut, it it's just right in. there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest fucking part of the entire movie. He's just there. Um, so the cat chases him around for fucking forever. Way too long. Stupidest. Like everything chasing. else in this movie. This is the longest 45 minutes you will ever spend. You drink like two beers in that 45 minutes and I ate an entire pint of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I feel like hours have gone by. I feel like days. <laughs> Just. Anyways. Fucking, the bad guys are all like, give us your cheese, and they hold toothpicks up to threaten them. <laughs> and then, and then they're like, the good guys are like, but wait, we, we just have small pieces of cheese in our book bags. Why would you steal from us when there's lots of cheese up there on the table? And the bad guys are like, huh, you know, I never actually thought before. Then Marcel comes over. And he's friends with the cat now. And they explain that later, but they don't explain it in the moment for some fucking reason. But he comes over with the cat and captures the bad guys, even though they figured out a solution. Yeah, like, they, they've resolved the problem. Like, every everybody's just gonna steal their own cheese and everyone's gonna be cool. But Marcel is a vindictive bastard. And he brings the cat over and he's like, Br bring these rats to your owners, they will be pleased and reward you. That's, that's what he says. Well, we can't have the rival uh, restaurant, you know, turning out good, too. Oh, yeah, so. of course. Yeah. Um, and they had to learn their lesson. They had yeah. to become lab rats. Yeah. They get sent to a fucking lab retort, and they're like, oh, I'm sure they're doing fine. Yeah, now. they play it off like it's a joke. Like, no. Do you know what happens to lab rats? They're getting injected with shampoo. God, that's worse than death. <laughs> that is worse than death. Holy shit. So they get a lifetime of being experimented on, like, well, like fucking lab rats. The the two lady rats that were evil that didn't go with the dude rats to the lab are like, oh, I'm not so happy that they're at the lab, but this food is delicious. They continue eating there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the cat, the cat's there too. The cat's in the restaurant too, and he orders salmon, and then he like kind of smirks at the camera. Everyone's cool with everyone. Um. Except for the two rats who are getting dead. injected. They're fucking. With L'Oreal. Dead. Fucking shampoo. Who would you recommend this film to? Um, I would recommend this film to no one. Uh, it's awful. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Um, I would like to, um, recommend this film to everyone. It is fantastic. It is one of the greatest things I've seen in my life. Yeah. Why? Um, tell me. Tell me why. You want to guess? Why? Just guess. Guess why I think it's the greatest film. Because it made me mad. Precisely. Precisely. Yeah. Precisely. 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 Precisely.